Getty Washington imposed sanction against 24 Russians on Friday The sanctions, taken under pressure from the U.S. Congress, have seen the freezing of U.S. assets of oligarchs such as aluminium tycoon Oleg Deripaska, a close associate of Putin, and lawmaker Suleiman Karimov, whose family controls Russia's biggest gold producer. Belis. The action largely responds to what U.S. intelligence agencies have said was Russia's interference in the U.S. presidential election, although the Treasury Department said the sanctions are a response to a series of adversarial actions by Moscow. Washington said those sanctioned, seven oligarchs and 12 companies they own or control, along with 17 senior Russian officials, were profiting from a Russian state engaged in malign activities around the world. Getty the sanctions have seen the freezing of U.S. assets of oligarchs such as tycoon Oleg Deripaska. The sanctions are groundless, ridiculous and absurd. Oleg Deripaska the Russian oligarch, Mr. Deripaska, has said the U.S. decision to impose sanctions on him on Friday was groundless, ridiculous and absurd. He said in a statement provided by a spokesman for Basic Element, one of his businesses, the events this morning are very unfortunate but not unexpected. The Russian businessman added, certainly the grounds for putting my name on the list of specially designated nationals, SDNs, as provided by U.S. officials are groundless, ridiculous and absurd. Mr. Deripaska, who is estimated by Forbes magazine to have a net worth of $6.7 billion, is the main owner of the conglomerate N+, which in turn is the co-owner of some of the world's biggest metals producers, Rusal and Nornickel. Getty Murderi Pasca has said the sanctions imposed on him are groundless, ridiculous and absurd. U.S. President Donald Trump has long been under fire for failing to take strong action against Moscow after a series of diplomatic disputes reminiscent of the Cold War era, and for doing too little to punish Russia for the alleged election meddling. It is feared that the sanctions could complicate his hopes for good relations with Mr. Putin. The U.S. Treasury Department said the sanctions were also in response to its actions in Ukraine its support of President Bashar al-Assad in Syria's civil war and subverting Western democracies. But plans for a meeting between Mr. Trump and Mr. Putin will not be affected by the sanctions, the White House said. Sarah Sanders, a White House press secretary said, as the president has said, he wants to have a good relationship with Russia but that's going to depend on some of the actions by the Russians.